Sometimes you may have a large area of one color on your painting. And I've started a little bit of enhancing it here, but let me just show you how I do that. Uh, so this is basically pink, right? And so I get a couple of pinks out on the palette. This is light magenta, medium magenta, and magenta. Uh, and then something close to that, I've got this, I think this is naphthol red light, and then a little bit of white. Now I'm gonna add just a little glazing medium to the paints. And uh, just dive in. So here I've got a magenta that's a little darker than what's on the page. And then this magenta is very similar to what's on the page. So what I'm doing is just giving a little variation uh, to what's already there. So let's see. Let me try something a little lighter. See if I can blend that a little bit. So I'm working pretty quickly here so that the, the colors, the paints stay wet, the colors stay pretty fresh. Okay, so here I've got this a little bit of a gradation from a lighter to the medium to a bit darker. It goes back to lighter. I'm gonna see what I can do with this red. I don't know how that's gonna work out. Ooh. Yeah, so that adds a little different hue to this whole area. It's a little more of a kind of lipstick pink, slightly orangey. And for now, I'm gonna let that green stay. I could paint over it, but I'm not going to. Yeah, I kind of like this uh, addition of the red to this. Let's see. So there's not like a prescribed or predictable way that I'm blending these colors. Uh, the main goal is just to give this one area of pink a little more interest, a little more nuance, rather than just being kind of a flat area of one color. <laughs> 